I'm known in skateboarding for making up a bunch of stuff and winning a lot over time. I was brought in through this strange set of circumstances, things that, you know, that twilight zone of tossing a coin and having it land on its edge. I was picked to talk about optimizing human performance to a bunch of scientists with a bunch of West Point studies. And it started with a simple question of what makes you different as a skateboarder, what makes you good. I didn't have the necessarily the vocabulary. I had just enough through little Linux, building a few computers, the tiniest amount of the brains, tiniest amount. But knowing and loving what I do, to write just a little bit and communicate. When I read books on optimizing human performance, which inevitably most any athlete will come across, as we seek to get better, and they come from scientists for the life of me, and they're talking about something that this is my life, this is my sense of self. I read it and humbly say, man, you put a lot of black boxes around sophisticated ideas. You throw a neurochemical at an entire process that I've spent decades understanding and feeling and with all my heart what you've summarized in a paragraph it is so grossly oversimplified that it leads people in the wrong direction and you build castles on sand I have felt that before in fact an executive director of a university affiliated research center gave me a book just on that. And for the life of me, I think my response was along those lines of, I don't have the credentials, but I see certain areas that I wish that I could help them formulate from my perspective because the secret sauce is not in this black box here. I'd like to pry that open and blossom this out, an entire area that I know separates me. And that simple answer has repeated itself again and again, where I brought in sort of these salon silks, quite creepy, in mansions that are funded oddly strange ones where I'm always I felt such an outsider that I didn't belong but I can see very quickly that you can have the most brilliant minds I did one I answered a few on so-called the biggest study of creativity ever there was some other qualifier adjective and I remember my answers and they used me, they did a presentation and they put my face in it. And I felt these people are so brilliant, but by the time the answers got to the team, they sliced and diced it in such a way that the answers were not only had they lost meaning, but they ran the other direction because they didn't necessarily have the feeling because I spent my life doing one thing and they have spent their lives doing another. And for the life of me, I wish that there were more that were given license to come in and communicate to these incredible minds who have access to them. I mean, they spent their lives doing what we cannot do, but there should be more interfacing. And so to me, that is that kind of inclusion and open-mindedness is so important the feeding that that 
intangibles into these structures that in other languages that have been formalized by hardcore scientists to take it further than we could to feed more people.